Before we can learn how to graph equations on the number line, we have to familiarize ourselves with the universes. Universes are large groups of numbers that we are dealing with when we graph equations. The three most common universes are the natural numbers, the integers, and the real numbers. I like to describe natural numbers as the numbers that small children learn to work with in math first. They include 0, 1, 2, 3, and they continue going on forever in the positive direction. There are no fractions or decimals included, and they can also be described as the positive whole numbers and 0. Integers is very similar. You have the number 0, you have 1, 2, 3, going on and on in the positive direction, but you also have negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, going on and on in the negative direction. Integers includes the natural numbers and the negative whole numbers too. Real numbers is all numbers. Real numbers includes the natural numbers and the integers, all the positive and negative whole numbers and zero, but it also includes all the fractions and decimals that are located in between these whole numbers. Real numbers includes every other type of number. Now, here we are being asked to graph, but within natural numbers, the following equations. All of these equations are inequality symbols with the extra little line under them. They are greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. You have to be, pay careful attention to whether or not that little line is there when you're reading the equation so that you can be sure to get your answer right. x greater than or equal to negative 3 would seem to be these numbers going on and on in the positive direction. But be careful. This is in natural numbers. Natural numbers do not include negative 2 and negative 1. Even though they are greater than negative 3, they will not be part of the answer. The natural numbers that are greater than or equal to negative 3 start at 0 and include all of the positive natural numbers. So we draw an arrow or we put three dots to indicate that it continues going on past the number 3. y less than or equal to negative 2 would include the numbers over here, but again, these negative numbers are not natural numbers. So this se might seem like a trick question, but there are no natural numbers that are less than or equal to negative 2, so the answer is empty set. There are none. We can leave a blank number line to express this, or we can use the empty set symbol, which is this circle with a line through it. Z greater than or equal to 1. 1 is a natural number, and it is equal to itself, so therefore 1 will be part of our answer. All of the natural numbers that are greater than 1 will also be part of our answer, so 2 is part of our answer, and 3, and again, we can draw an arrow to show that the answer continues on forever in the positive direction. A less than or equal to 2. Well, then these numbers here are all less than 2. 2 is equal to 2. That's going to be our answer. We will put the 2 first, because it is equal to 2. And then 1 is less than 2, so we put a dot. 0 is less than 2, we put a dot. But then we have to stop, because these other numbers are negative. They are not natural numbers, so they are not part of the answer to this particular question. Here are four more equations that we're going to graph in natural numbers. The difference is that I don't have the extra little line that means or equal to. 